Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys. This is South Florida's CBS4 News. Ferrari, Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce, the list goes on. Steven Kessler is known as Miami's exotic car dealer to the stars. Each of his cars has a story to tell, as all of them are previously owned, some by my lovely co-anchor, <laughs> and are bought by heavy hitters, including big-name celebrities. Mm. CBS4's own big-name celebrity, Lisa Petrillo, takes us for quite a hot ride. <laughs> This is a 1987 slant nose turbo cabriolet. Uh -huh. There are only 216 of these cars in the world. This is a 2008 Aston Martin Vantage. It's a 2000 Rolls-Royce Corniche with just 8,200 miles. It's safe to say Stephen Kessler knows a lot about cars. With more than 30 years experience in the high-end car biz, he's known in the industry as the exotic car specialist to the stars. His North Miami showroom houses a rotating collection of 30 to 40 supercars. Right now, today under the roof, is about 2.6 million. And it all started when Steve got a $1,500 graduation present from his parents, this 1960s Porsche. It was a car that my parents gave me to go to college in. Okay. But I sold it prematurely. I never took it to college. I wound up making money on the car, and that's where the, all the car business started. That was in New York with his wife Alice by his side. About 10 years ago, they opened the North Miami showroom. It's a family affair here. Alice handles all the paperwork for the company, while daughter Lindsay is in-house counsel. I've learned how to work, have a working balance. You know, you go home, you try not to take shop home with you, try to just have fun when you go home. In 1992, the movie Scent of a Woman was filmed in his dealership. Star Al Pacino drove Kessler's personal Ferrari in it. Through the years, Kessler has put tons of stars in his fancy cars, from Bon Jovi to Mike Tyson, Don King, and way back when, even John Belushi. He was not too stable when he came in to buy it, and when he drove out, he went straight into the building in front. This and, was John Belushi? Yes, and cracked up his car, and his wife Judy had to drive him home from the show, and he just reordered another one. Stephen recently bought this 2004 Rolls-Royce Corniche with just 2,800 miles at auction. It was owned by Hulk Hogan's ex-wife, Linda. You so, must hear some stories, too. Oh, my God. The stories, you know, real-life stories that you see in movie turn out to be a lot, a lot of it true in their character, in people's character. Coming through cars. Right. There are two things in common with all the cars in Kessler's lot. All are exotic and all are used. So nothing here is new. That's correct. Everything is used and that has value because... Because the typically the first owner takes the most amount of depreciation. And once that is just about fully depreciated, which will take about 18 months or so, a year and a half, then the second car owner usually enjoys that appreciation by being able to drive it, own it, and use it for two or three years and not lose a dime. Stephen prides himself on finding the exact car every customer wants. He'll scour the country to find it, all in a day's work for a man who's riding high in his chosen field. So if you're in the market for one of these babies, log on to KesslerAutoGroup.com. 119,000 for this beautiful yellow Ferrari. I'm taking off and log on to our website at CBSMiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrilla, CBS4 News. Mm, Lisa wears it well, huh? Can she drive a stick? I don't think it was stick. It was automatic. Oh. Mm. I wonder if he could find me a Fisker. I'm sure he could. I don't you know what that those? is. No, no they're so, all like the rage up in Palm Beach right now. Oh, is that right? Absolutely. Sounds like cat food to me. <laughs> Fisker.